Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our channel. If you're a parent, a caregiver, or just someone interested in the health and well-being of newborns, you've come to the right place. Today, we're going to dive into a topic that's not uncommon among neonates. Minor disorders of neonates and their management before we jump into management. Let's first understand what we mean by minor disorders in neonates. Minor disorders and minor ailments are a physical condition in which there is a disturbance of normal functioning. So let directly digested the cases of babies and the treatment together. Stuffy nose is a condition that leads to mouth breathing and excessive air swallowing. And a treatment firstly clean the child nostril by cotton wool soaked with normal saline. Nasal spray or drop can use to clear the nose. Sticky eyes that may occur due to chemical irritant or bacterial infection. That's usually treat by using a erythromycin 0.5% ointments or eye drops for 7 to 10 days. Oral thrush it is a fungal infection characterized by white patches in the mouth and tongue. A primary treatment is to clean mother's nipples and baby mouth after each feed and apply gentian violet or antifungal drugs. In gorged breasts it occurs due to maternal hormones. No treatment required in this case and don't squeeze the breast. Hiccups it occurs due to irritation of the diaphragm. Caused by distended stomach and sneezing it also occur due to nasal irritation by amniotic fluid. Blood, meconium nostrils should be cleaned with sterile cotton swabs. Excessive crying caused by hungry or discomfort of the baby. Full bladder or before passing urine. Wet clothes can also cause excessive crying of baby. Constipation and insect bite can be the cause of baby excessive crying. A treatment is frequently feeding the baby. Frequently changing the diaper or wet clothes, checking for urine and motion. Covering the baby from insects. Umbilical granuloma is present as a small flesh-like pale nodule. At the base of the umbilicus with discharge treat it with cauterization with silver nitrate. And apply common salt plus local antibiotics. Acne neonatrum. That cause by transplacenta passage of maternal androgen it resolves within few days. Vomiting it organic causes include mechanical GERD, hernia, intestinal obstruction, neurological, or increased ICP and infection like septicemia, meningitis. Non-organic causes irritation of stomach due to swallowing amniotic fluid. Faulty feeding technique or air swallowing no treatment in case regurgitation. Apply proper eating technique. Stomach wash to remove swallow amniotic fluid and find the causes and treat. Constipation can be caused by artificial feeding. Insufficient fluid intake and a treatment is excessive breastfeeding and additional glucose water. Honey not recommended apply lubricant to the rectum. Diarrhea baby pauses to to six times golden yellow sticky loose. Stools due to high content of lactose it causes is unhygienic feeding practice, artificial feeding. Overfeeding and infection. Management of diarrhea is for fluids, antibiotics, breastfeeding and hygienic practice. Dehydration fever it occurs due to inadequate breastfeeding. And another neonate case is smegma white cheese-like substance present in penis in male. And between labia in female. Napkin rash it is commonly seen in artificially fed babies. It causes is wet nappies or prolonged use lack of hygiene artificial feeding. Diarrhea and fungal infection. Napkin rashes clinical features is perianal skin become red or indurated and excoriated. Treatment or prevention of napkin rashes is immediate changing of soiled napkin. Napkin should be washed with antiseptic solution. Dry the perianal area and expose to air and apply coconut oil or ointment. Cradle cap. The cradle cap is found as saborite crusting over the scalp and a treatment just apply coconut oil over the affected part at night followed by shampoo with cetramide or cetavalone. Obstructed nasal lacrimal duct is persistent tearing from one or both the eyes without any infection it causes is simple congenital obstruction of nasal lacrimal duct. For the treatment massage the lacrimal sac area between the eyes and nose from below upwards with inward pressure for 15 to 20 times per day. And this will get corrected within four months. Vaginal bleeding or mucoid secretion it occurs after three to five days of birth it's due to sudden withdrawal of maternal hormone and no treatment is required just clean the area and maintain hygiene thanks for watching don't forget to hit the bottom and subscribe for more updates